Okay, here's a more in-depth look at my live DJ set inside of Ableton. This is a template which will be ever evolving. I've got a little bit of room to play with for adding additional things in terms of mapping a few other knobs here. Pretty much on the launch control, I've only got this one knob here doing something inside of my project, but yeah, it's pretty cool what it does, so we'll see that very shortly. To the rest of the kit here, obviously Novation launch control, We've got the Akai APC-64. We've got the Akai APC-40 Mark II. We've got the Novation Launchpad Mini. And the focus rate scored it to a 2 fourth gen. And nothing here requires electric. Underneath this top foam layer, there's another thicker piece. And that's cut out. And hiding in there, I've got a USB splitter which is powering all the devices with the one cable coming up into the MacBook here and the other USB cable is powering the audio interface. So with this configuration here, I can do a lot of interesting stuff. Obviously, there's a lot of time consuming work before you actually get to the stage to perform the set. So if you've seen the most recent video I posted just before this one here on YouTube, this is the set that was recorded live in Warm Points on the 4th of May for the Night of Legends Fergie Freeman fundraiser. And so if you haven't already heard that set, go and check out that video and you'll be able to hear this whole set just under one hour long. I'm going to break it down a little bit here and show you exactly how the set was constructed and how it was put together using the devices down here in front of me. So if you're already familiar with the Ableton, you'll see I'll be working exclusively inside of Session View. Nothing in arrangement. However, I will need to record these clips so we can piece them into the video and you can actually hear what's going on audio wise so keeping things simple only the eight tracks and i'll be working down the set from top to bottom using the akai's to navigate around my clips i've got the scenes color coded white which means that i want to launch that entire row of clips at the same time so the first set is quite busy i'll just take you right down through it here So as you can see, quite a lot going on here. And effectively what I've done is I've taken a lot of old school tracks that I'm really into, chopped them up, edited them, took out the best parts, and I've layered them up with other drum loops, breaks, various different vocals, and all the percussive elements I have written myself. And those percussive sounds roll right throughout the mix from one song to the next. So it keeps it really, really consistent. On my master channel, now I call the main channel inside of Ableton, I've got some master effects and I've got those controls mini mapped down to the eight knobs here on the ABC40. Simple low pass filter, high pass, and then I have a delay, echo, and a flanger, and the times for those effects. So delay time, echo time, and the flanger rate. And these are on the overall mix, everything that's being routed from the individual tracks to the master channel. Up here we've got drums, we've got various track bits, we've got some MIDI bass lines, more track bits, MIDI pads, breaks, fills and effects, MIDI leads and vocals and effects and some of these clips cross over from one track to another. Up here I've got some sends and they're being controlled down here on the Akai APC64. The Launchpad Mini is controlling the scratch sounds and I have a few other effects mapped up here as well. And lastly, I'm rolling with the III Studio Wireless Plus headphones transmitter directly into the focus rate, and that sends the audio wirelessly over to the headphones. Okay, so I'll take you down through the set quickly, launch a few of those scenes and a couple of those clips to give you a bit of an idea what's going on, apply some of the effects. Effectively, my clips are one-shot samples or loops, 8, 16, 24, 32 bar in length. I can let those scenes or loops play for as long as I want while I'm applying effects build intensity momentum, bring it down, bring it up, trigger my scratch sounds over here. So if I just put a little breakbeat loop thing on here, and I can let you hear what's going on there. idea with that and individual volume control 
on a power track basis. So I'll move down through the set here. Down a little bit. What else we got? New track here. And then, obviously, my master effects apply to everything. You can get absolutely insane there with the echo and uh, delay time divisions. Really, really cool stuff. Moving on down a little bit. The battery's about to die on the computer, so better make this quick. We're down to something completely different here. Let's see. Ah, nice wee section in here. Let's kick it off from here. Launch the whole scene. So that's just a bit of an idea of what you can actually do. Obviously, I let those sort of scenes play for the 16 bars or the 24 bars or whatever. Uh, but, you know, there's so, so much to get through on this. That's just a little quick sort of look. Yeah, so the power of Ableton with a couple of good MIDI controllers around you and some MIDI mapping and a lot of time and patience and effort editing some songs that you're into. You can come up with something totally unique that's completely different to what anybody else would be doing themselves. So if any of the gears of interest to you, it's all in stock right here at Audio Level DJ Store. Catch you later.